Hello, I'm Entrilisium, and I'm here today with a video on Kerbal Space Program Point 24. Now, 24 introduces a number of new things, contracts to earn cash, cash so that you have to spend cash to build things, and 64-bit. 64-bit is still very experimental at the moment, but it's coming! Woo! Which means that I can mod my game even more crazily, which possibly doesn't bode well for its stability, but there you go. Anyway, let's get on to actually the main stuff. We'll ignore 64-bit for the moment. I might do a separate video on that and just have a look at how awesome that'll be. But for now, let's just talk about the main features of the game that have been added and start the clock. This is going to be the point .24 update in 2.4 minutes. Point .24 adds a completely new system for campaign in that it involves contracts to earn cash and then cash to spend to build rockets. So if we go and have a look at the top of the screen right now, you can see that we have science, a cash bar with this sort of weird symbol for Kerbal cash or whatever it is, and you also have a reputation bar in the middle. Now the reputation bar goes up when you complete contracts and goes down when you kill Kerbals, and most of the time it will be going up unless you happen to be Danny. Now at the bottom you can also see we have a universal time clock, good addition there. Right, let's dive straight into this new building. Now this new building it's been around for a while, it's not exactly new, but we've just seen the outside of it. It's basically what I think of as the contract building. Now I've got a number of different contracts, you can see the ones that are current, the ones that are archived, and the ones that we can accept. Now there are five different types of contract really, I mean there's a massive variation within each contract, but there are five general types of contract, these are part test, explore body, collect science, grand tour, and then there's rescue Kerbal. Now rescue Kerbal is kind of special in that it allows Kerbals to be spawned elsewhere in the solar system and you have to go collect that Kerbal and bring them back to Kerbin. This means that we actually have confirmation that we aren't the only Kerbal Space Agency. There are other space agencies on Kerbin that we are basically having to compete with and sometimes save. Now let's actually have a look at the couple of these. We've got a couple here for the moon, stuff like doing a science test and planting flag. So we'll go do them. Now here in the VAB you can see we have a new thing, this little cash bar down the bottom. Now. As I add a cockpit to the actual game, you can see that cockpit is costing us money. Now let's skip forward. Now I'm landing on the moon here and you can see we we'll plant the flag. And you can see up there our little communication thing is blinking. This means we've got a message. The message will of course be, well done, you've completed the contract. Now let's just fly back to Kerbin. Now we've recovered the vessel and as you can see there are three tabs. One of which is the one you're all familiar with is the science overview. So all the experiments and stuff we've got. But there's also two more. One of which is parts and one of which is crew. The parts one will show you the parts that you've managed to recover. Now these parts are converted back into cash, so that by sending a mission up and then getting the mission back, when you recover the mission you don't lose those parts, you actually get them back in a form of cash that you can then spend. As you can see by the messages, we have done two missions. These missions have been successfully completed, and as you can see we've got a lot of reputation and also a fair decent amount of money. You can see our money's completely shot up from these. And we've also got a little bit of science. There are a couple of other small things, such as the Kerbin Day is now actually 51 seconds shorter. This has been the Point 24 update for Kerbal Space Program in 2.4 minutes. I've been Andrew Lithium. I don't actually know when it'll be out, I assume in sometime in the next couple of weeks. This of course has been a very early dev copy that I've been looking at. If you've liked this video, please remember to like it, and if you're not subscribed for some bizarre, strange reason, please subscribe, I'd actually kind of appreciate those ones. I've been Andrew Lithium, and as always, stay shiny.